Hello everybody, this is Richard Cespedes, Mad Cat's Fear, and I'm here with a update on some electrokinesis <coughs> um, tutorials, some advice, and uh, this is stuff that I've been um, kind of practicing with, some dabbling with. It's much more emotional techniques to develop a connection with your own self and your own emotions to allow you to uh, project your presence and your energy to manipulate um, the things around you in reality. And uh, this, these techniques that, I, that I'm going to... Uh, teach you and give you is um, anything that can be used under the umbrella of psychokinesis. It could be used for geo, for uh, cryokinesis, cryokinesis, um, you know, telekinesis, uh, um, everything, you know. So this is uh, just, uh, I'm showing some clips of Trevor 7. You guys already seen this, um, but I'm just going to use this as, a, as a, an example and just to kind of narrate over. So the thing is though is that with um, electrokinesis, um, what I've come to realize, and I'm also going to practice this, um, is that you have to um, learn to um, um, recognize your emotions within yourself. Um, recognize the obvious emotions, where they arise. And the, the, the most basic places, simplest places that we all can, uh, can relate to is within the stomach. You get butterflies when you get scared or when you get excited or something or when you get frightened, you know, sometimes you feel in your stomach or in your heart. You feel fear or you feel joy in the heart or stomach. And those are the two main places where you can um, recognize um, those emotions. And what it is is that um, this is just much more of a straightforward example. Um, you get something like a light bulb like this. You don't have to hold it, but you could if you want to. Um, you have something close to you. And you have an intention that you want it to light up. That's all you want. You just want something to happen. But since it's a light bulb, you want it to light up. So what happens here is that um, you may not know it, um, but um, you're already creating an image, an organic image, by having that intention. You don't have to force yourself to visualize a perfectly clear picture in your head. As long as you have an intention... Your mind already knows, is already visualizing it in the subconscious mind, in the back of your head, uh, what you want to happen. And that visual stimulation is already being created, um, but, you, but you just don't know it. So what it is that you have to um, um, utilize uh, it, it, the emotions within your stomach and your heart, and you just feel it. And, and when you become more familiar, and we become more intimate with these feelings that, that are within your body... Um, mixed with the intention that you want to roll a can or to freeze something or to electrify something with just intention with any intention you make that happen you make that you make that uh, become a reality you make that certain ability become reality so what it is is that it's very basic um, with meditation you can better understand how to feel your internal emotions and your what's going on inside of you you know, um, when you meditate, you're more quiet and you're able to feel deep inside. You're able to feel um, your, your heart beating. You're able to feel even your veins pulsating. That's very intimate, very deep. And you can also feel, um, you know, um, the emotions. Maybe there's emotions. Um, you get sensations in the back of your neck when you get angry or when you get happy. Maybe your emotions are in your chest. Maybe they're not always in the stomach or the gut, but just as long as there's some stimulation of emotion occurring, maybe it's in, uh, on your forearms, maybe it's uh, on your legs, you feel fear, you want to run, or something like that, you utilize that as for your benefit, so that you can utilize that, and what it is that you just have to provoke that energy, and then you have an intention, and you mix them together, and that's when the psychonesis abilities manifests. It's very simple, very straightforward. Now, these are different techniques than what you're used to hearing me give you. This is something that, um, that you don't need to have um, anticipation. You don't need to have um, um, direct visualization. This is a different technique, an alternate technique that can help you. I recommend using both of them if, if they help you. You know, but this one is much more um, internally emotional. Um, you're cultivating and creating um, um, energy within yourself. And uh, doing a lot of meditation will help you to relax yourself. I don't really need to do meditation because I understand myself. And I understand my, uh, my physical body and the emotions of where they arise. Because I pay attention because I've been practicing for so long that I already know myself. But if you need to feel yourself and understand your emotions, you need to quiet the mind so that the mind can travel to other parts of the body. You know, when you meditate, you want to focus on maybe like your toe or your left hand. You know? 
and um, and and this is another advice. You want to meditate, focus on the left hand, left toe, and that left hand, left toe. When you're focusing on a can or a light bulb, when you get used to that, you pretend and you direct your intention on the object, and you pretend that that toe or the uh, um, that the can is the toe or the left pinky of your hand, and it moves because. The object is a part of you. It's connected to you, and you're projecting your presence. You're projecting yourself, your emotions. That's how it works. This is something that Trevor has already spoken about, but um, I just wanted to put in because I became very understanding of the subject. Now I understand what he's talking about because he spoke about it, but I just understand it. But now I understand that you have to understand yourself very deeply, and I just wanted to share that, just to add a little bit of my own little nuances, my own little advice. But meditate, understand yourself, take your time, be patient, don't rush, don't be action, um, anxious. You will do it, you will progress. Just follow what I say, you will grow. Thank you. Matt Catsphere, God bless.